Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the class bindings. How to bind the class names to an DOM element. Let's try to see. So normally, if you try to see, common need of data binding is manipulating the elements class list and also the styles. So this class and styles, if you try to observe, these both are attributes. So that means we have learned about the attribute binding by using vif and bind directive. By using this vif and bind directive also we can bind the we can append the classes but view provides us a special enhancement for the view bind so that we can use this class and style for the dom elements i will try to show you how we can do in an easy way of binding this class why because for example if you want to bind one or more classes means we need to use some concatenation operators and all those things we need to use some methods to join these all things I need to give the space between the class names so these all the things may become error prone because of that reason we have some special method class thing using the class uh, directive we can we can place this one so let's try to see it. here i am creating a new component class component okay class component dot view and let's go here let's write the template and here i will be having an h3 h3 i'm having an h3 and this one is class binding class binding now let's go here in main.js here i will be having class component and have this one class component and i can import here class component and also i can use it here sorry oh sorry class component that's it so here we are having this class component let's go to the app.view and here i can add it class component that's it there is also another way in the script you can import and you can directly use it just i am showing you slowly face by face we will learn all the things we have added this class component let's go to the class component and see the output where whether we are able to see it or not so here class binding we are able to see this one let's give some margin view style style is equal to i want to apply something like margin top of 15 rem so that we can able to get it in the middle of the screen if you try to see let refresh this page we are not getting whether we have did anything wrong or what so here we have given style yeah so if you try to see yeah we are able to see it here class binding it's coming here now start one of them one by one for example let's say that we are having a development in the class component so here i am having a u element and i want to apply a class here so here act to class i want to apply act to class for this one normally one procedure how you can apply so you can use a class and i can apply active to this one now if you see the output so here apply active class for this one if you inspect the element and if you go to the elements here from where you'll be able to see class active is applied to this one but now this one is a static okay so whatever the class you are trying to apply it is a static now if you want to apply the active based on one condition so for example let's say that we are having a script setup just happened so script setup script now let's say that we am having a one variable is active so this one will have a ref of true so when this one is active variable is true only then only i need to apply this active class or otherwise i should not i cannot i should not apply this active class so what can i do here so now vue.js provides us a new thing class and it takes an object okay i want to apply an active class when this is active is truthy so now here when is active is true truthy so that means if it is true then only this class will be applied or otherwise this will not be applied try to see here the first time so here we are able to see that oh something has happened oh ref we need to import it ref yeah we have imported it now if you try to see so for this active class active has been applied now if i make it as a false now if i make it as a false then this one will not be applied 
you see so for this inspect element so this is not applied only class is same so this is one way and you can also use the what i can say you can also use the multiple classes toggling and all those things we can also use the multiple classes how we can use it is for example let's say i'm having another variable constant has error has error is equal to ref of true so this time this is true then i can apply here i can now use text hyphen danger text hyphen danger so if it is danger then then when it is as error is there now i will try to keep both of them as true then you will try to you will get you will observe it so now both the things active is is active is true and i also has a is true active and text type and danger will be applied if you try to see here for this simple active class active and text type and danger both are getting applied so this is one thing so when is active or has error changed the class is the class list will be updated accordingly so when this one is changed all automatically this one automatically the classes will be updated so now one thing so instead of having like this object big object like this we can also make a maintain this one in an object in the template in the in the code itself for example let's say that constant class objects i can have here class objects and i can use reactive reactive op and i can use these two things active and has error so like this i can use it so these two are up i'm just so here i can pass true and true or otherwise you can use those values also not a problem and now directly i can use this class objects here without any hesitation that's it now if you try to see here both are true right we can able to see both of them where it will be let's refresh this page what has happened is the, uh, yeah nothing has happened yeah here if you try to observe so both of them has been updated like this also you can use it other than this you can also use this class objects as a computer property for example let's say i will try to comment out yeah now for computer property constant class objects class object is equal to i can also use it as a computer property computer of and i can use so depending on these variables i need to get it right depending on this variable so then what i can do here active if is active dot value and as error not of so then if it is not of as error dot value and the other one is nothing but what i need to do so here i need to return it i need to return the object not like this so here we need to return the object now here the last one what i need to send is text hyphen danger so text hyphen danger i need to send when this has error dot value is there that means true is there so here what i am trying to do so i am depending on these two variables so if he is active dot variable is if he is active is true means then we need to use it like this has error like this so if you are dependent on these other variables not we should not use it like this so you should not use it here we should use it as a computer actually so when you are have when you are dependent on other variables you can use it as a computer and you can add this class object here directly now this one is dependent on the variables so now here you will be able to see only the text type and danger for this one what happened computer is not defined okay so let's import this computer yeah and now if you see the output and here in the computed uh, in the active class so here we will be able to see only the text type and danger is applied why because as error is not false it is a truthy value so like this we can use it this is one way not only like this we can also use so up to now we are maintaining with the truthy values we can also bind arrays also binding with the arrays arrays also we can you by using the arrays also we can bind the classes how we can do it is for example let's say that i am having constant active class is equal to ref of i can use active and we are using directly the class names constant error class sorry, error class is equal to ref of text type and danger so i am directly using the class names and if you want to apply these class names these variable names directly here you can apply it with an array now here i can use active class comma error class directly 
So now this both will be applied automatically. If you try to see, same thing happens here. So active and text danger has been applied. So like this, we can apply it. So now and also another thing what I want to do is, for example, let's say that if is active variable is there. Okay. So now these are the errors here class names right when is active is there this is active active class should be applied so then what i can do here is is active is there means then i should apply the active class or otherwise i need to otherwise empty so we can use it like this also now if you try to see it so here then also it will apply and another one what i want to do is and another one what i want to apply is for example here let's see that we have applied these all the truthy values right instead of having this one alternary operator and all those things we can convert this one into an object so here i can convert this one into an object how i can convert into an object is so if i want to apply the active when is active is there like this also we can apply this is an array an error class will be always it will be present so here this active will be applied like this so now if you try to see like this now active and text changer is there for example let's say that here i am applying a static active class right so here we are taking the class name from the variable if you want to use this variable name in the property variable property so you can use it with the square parameter like this now if i want to apply something active some random thing we can able to apply it without any problem if you see here for this active class see i'm able to see this active dsds like this so this is how we will be applying so the last one before closing this one i want to show you about how we can apply this one in the components how the classes will be applied in the components for example let's say that i am having one scenario let's say that so these are all the things we have seen about the classes different ways of using the classes right in the app dot view for this class component i have applied a class something like who and bar so these are the two classes which i have applied now when you apply this one to a component name automatically these class names will be applied to the root element of this one let's say for example if you are having a root element for this this is this div is a root element and here for this div element automatically these class names who and bar will be applied to this root element if you see here and here you'll be able to see the foo and bar has been applied to the root element for example let's say that for this root element we are having some classes uh, let's say that as and boo so these are the classes we are having and now what will happen is automatically the class names which you have mentioned in the component declaration automatically these classes will be merged here so it will be appended so here you'll be able to see bas boo and foo and bar so like this it will be having so fine so now whatever the class in the class declare component declaration the class names are coming what about if you are having multiple root elements in view three multiple root elements are element present right so i have removed this one now it is having two root elements so that is multiple root elements you are having and now i am trying to pass this class foo and bar so to which root element it will apply if you try to see here if I refresh this page so we are not able to see this one right so here we are not able to uh where, where is this one what happened non properties class were pass yeah here you are able to see proper at class will pass to the component which is not automatically inherited so now we are having it text to root text nodes so what can we do is what we can do is so here nothing is happening so it's just showing a warning so for this type of thing so what you want to do is so here you can apply in the class component so here you can use something like attributes dot class so here i will be using dot class okay so this is the dollar at attrs is the component property so we can use it dollar attrs dot class so now for this h3 this will be applied if you try to see here if you refresh this page now the warning will go away and here if you try to see for the h3 that means class binding is foo and bar is applied for this one if you want to get applied means you can also use it for this one also dollar attrs dot class so you should not use the multiple dot class in innovation like this if you want you can use a normal class class is equal to static like this you can apply so two things will apply static it will apply these are all the things also it will apply we try to see here static is applied active is applied text danger and also foo bar is also applied for this one so like this we can use it for example if you are having a multiple root nodes and you want to append the classes that are passed through the component means 
so we can use a component property that is dollar attrs in that one class property will be present so we can apply this one to the class attr dot class here like this we can do it so this is all about the class bindings how we can do it in the view 3 composition api how we can do it through like this hope you understood about this class bindings if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you